everyone, my name is Annette and you might know me on social media as Natters Plays. And today's video is a simple response to the Watch It Played table talk video. And they posed a lot of questions as far as acquiring games and also what motivates us at, towards making that final purchase of a game. Now, I make these videos once a month where I go over my acquisitions and impressions. So I manage to get a lot of games in a month. And I go over these games and kind of give you my first thoughts and impressions of them. But before I even make those videos or before I even purchase those games, I put in a lot of thought as far as why am I going to purchase this game? Now, some of the reasons that I purchase a game is because of the designer. If it's a designer that I really like and enjoy, then more than likely I'm going to be interested in that game. Another factor is also the artist. What kind of artwork is it? Um, if it's something by Beth Selbell or Vincent Detroit, then more than likely I'm going to be interested in that game as well. So another factor besides those two is the game mechanic. Now there's certain mechanics that I really like. And if also there's a game out there that appeals to me because it has a mechanic that I like, like worker placement, but it offers like an innovative way of using worker placement. Well, then I'm going to look into that game as well. So as far as the peak interest of those different factors, I have to do a lot of research about them. I go on BGG or I also look at other content creators, uh, reviewers as well and see, you know, what appeals and see the game played on the table and how it's played and such. So I, I tend to do a lot of research, but then again, there's also the Kickstarters that pop up here and there, or when I go to a friendly game store and the game is right on the shelf and I just want to get it right then and there. So, <laughs> I mean, there's always like the research that I put into these games, but then there's also the instant gratification too of purchasing a game right then and there. So um, those are all the factors I can think of. Of course, there's other things too. Uh, like the cost itself, if the game is really cheap and inexpensive, more than likely I'm going to grab it as well. But those are some of the motivations that I have towards purchasing games. So of course, um, you should also add in maybe some other motivations or factors that you think about before you purchase a game. And you can also leave it in the comments below. And I'm also interested in hearing what other people have, have to think about too. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.